Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you, depending on where you are watching us from. Hmm, hmm. Now, wow. We are going to let you know who is behind, who is blocking Mazen Namdekanu's release. I wonder why the person is standing on the way. Perhaps he had something to gain. This is the particular person sabotaging the move for Mazen Namdekanu to be released. And whenever you see things like this happen, that person has something to gain from that or something broader that has to do with that. That is what we are going to look at today. Can you imagine? Like I said, the particular people doing this had something to gain. And they have been in this for a long time. They have been in this. How many of you know Katriana Lynch? They said she is personally sabotaging the effort to free Mazen Namdekano, head of the British High Commissioner to Nigeria. This is from a source that you can say this source is cocksure of what he's saying. So let's look at the story. Katrina Lange personally sabotaging efforts to free Kano. This is what U.S. lawyer says. Bruce Fenn, international lawyer and spokesman for the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, Mazen Namdekano, has accused the British High Commissioner to Nigeria, Katrina Lange, of personally sabotaging efforts to free Kano from illegal detention. Normally, the British people, when they hear their citizen is in a situation, in a mess, being holed up somewhere, it is expected of them to contact the embassy and talk to that embassy. You are holding our citizen. We want to know what happened. Why are you holding our citizen? Of course, Nanakan is... A British citizen too. He holds, he has British passports. And also considering the circumstances that led to this, his um, capture and detention. Do the British people need to be contacted or to be begged that their citizen is being held up somewhere and that he was illegally brought into this country? So now, According to this report, they said she is sabotaging it. It is expected of the High Commission in Nigeria to work towards his release. Why will he, she be sabotaging the move? Is it because of British long-standing milking of Nigeria? <laughs> yes, I said milking. Uh, if you've not had that, maybe you're here you need for the first time, but a lot of us know. Most of the Western countries rely on Africa to survive. Yes, just like um, France and the others, they go to their former colonies, Francophone countries in Africa. Britain is milking their own side of the story. <laughs> that is it. So, Perhaps with the coming of Biafra, the milking might cease because mostly this area called Biafra has that crude oil that they are milking. Someone said Nigeria doesn't even know the amount of crude oil it exports. It's like they give us whatever and we take. We don't know the exact amount of crude oil that we export. So, perhaps, let's try to connect this story. If the coming of Biafra will hinder such milking of Nigeria, you will understand why they will stand in the way. So, what do you really think about this Namikano's American lawyer's position? Mazin Namikano remained illegally obtained 
at the Abuja headquarters of the Department of State Services, DSS, since June 2021, when he was extraordinarily renditioned from Kenya. So, if the British government has not done anything, I think Bruce Fain, who represents Mazin Nankano, his international lawyer, has every reason to accuse Britain and her envoy to Nigeria of complicity and criminal silence. And everyone else will do. We've not had Britain give an official statement. Uh, okay, they said they will protect their citizens. We've not had they did anything like that. The U.S. attorney expressed surprise at Britain, which is beheading the international offensive against Russia for invading Ukraine. You know, you've been watching the news. You've been seeing British reaction to Russia's invasion of Ukraine. They are not happy with it. They have seen so many things, including Chelsea Football Club. They, have, they are doing a lot of things to show harshness to Russia. Meanwhile, that is hypocrisy, based on what uh, Martin Amricano lawyers is saying. Why doing that? Why trying to tell Russia what you are doing is bad? You have been holding down certain countries in Africa here. So according to Bruce Wayne, Mazen Amdekano has been kept illegally in detention. And to that effect, the man has written a letter. And the letter was dated February 10th, this 2023. And he made the letter available to news media. Wawa News Global. And let's read it for you to see. Re sabotage of immediate unconditional release of UK citizen Namdekano pursuant to UN. And um, he also made reference to working group on arbitrary detention opinion number 25 slash 2022. I'll read, Dear High Commissioner, on July 20, 2022, the United Nations Human Rights Council Working Group on Arbitrary Detention issued an unanimous opinion addressing United Kingdom citizen Namde Kano's kidnapping, torture, extraordinary rendition and protracted detention without trial by Nigeria acting in collusion with Kenya. Among other things, the working group opinion called upon Nigeria to take urgent action to ensure the immediate unconditional release of Mr. Kano. Paragraph 107 of the opinion catalogued the serial human rights violation of Nigeria and Kenya regarding Mr. Kano's the deprivation of his liberty in contravention of Articles 2, 3, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 19 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights and Articles 2, 9, 13, 14, 16, 19, and 26 of the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights, Paragraph 105. Evidence has surfaced that you personally are sabotaging Mr. Kano's unconditional release as mandated under just Coggins, norms of international law binding all nations, irrespective of consent. You have taken cynicism of hypocrisy to a new level. Your government have taken extreme umbrage at Russian President Vladimir Putin, violation of international law in attacking Ukraine and committing war crimes, but you have met the UK. Complicity in flouting international law like Mr. Putin by affirmatively encouraging the government of Nigeria to continue its illegal detention of Namde Kano. What is your ulterior motive? Oil and gas for the United Kingdom. Lucrative UK business arrangements. The other day, I managed to see an article um, about Dangote's farm. 
and I realized somebody from the royal family in UK is among the board of directors. <laughs> I laughed. Business people. You know how Nigeria came to be? It was two business interests merged together against the natives. against the consent of the people british interest business interest uh-huh before you know they use rail we need to transport this from north to the uh, this side to this side before you know they amalgamated us against our various interests they didn't care and this they have been doing in several parts of the world they don't care if um your interests align whether you agree with these people what they do they did it in sudan and afterwards you've seen they have splitted they match people against their interests they don't care what they look at is their own benefit what they will get from such union for them it's a business they don't care what happens and you saw what happened during the war that is why they took sides with nigeria because they want to maintain their business interests And hence, Mazen Namdekanu's case. So like Bruce Fenn wrote here, he said, What is your ulterior motive? Oil and gas for the United Kingdom. Lucrative UK business arrangements. Simple. How does UK survive? <laughs> hey, do you know what we call hawks? Ebe. You will call it Ebe. So let's read further. Rusfen wrote, You and your country plunged to new depths, new depth in <laughs> new depth in milking Nigeria, milking your former colonies. You go to war over the Falkland Islands, thousands of miles from English shores with a tiny population of 3,500 to keep them free from Argentina government. Misgovernment, okay. But Nnam a British citizen, is abandoned to the cruel, lawless dungeon of the Nigeria's TSS. Have you no sense of decency? Have you a heart of stone unmoved by monumental injustice? No mind those Oibo people. They go about telling you they, they you know they want to let you know that they are good people, they are you know morally right people, they hate injustice. But this is great injustice under their collective noses in Nigeria because of their interest, according to Bruce Finn. They are not going to enter um Talk about it. They are not going to oppose it. Russia entered Ukraine. Didn't you join Nigeria in invading Biafra? Gave Nigeria weapons. Your citizens were protesting in 1967. Massively. Against the onslaught. You were still supplying weapons to Nigeria. Because of your interest. Because you want it to be united. Against your will. Against the wills of the people. Not uh, against your will. Anyway, this is where I will leave it. I beg you people, my followers and people who will see this video, spread it widely. Spread it widely. The world needs to see this. And please, if you have not subscribed, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Bye-bye for now.